on the campus here. Yep. For our being road trip facts, Hartman approaching 100 yards. Looked very good last drive. Getting into a rhythm here for on the last drive. Hartman, quick throw. Dorch gets a block, cuts through, sidesteps another would be tackler. Where well, do you want to start your two minute offense? Red shirted two years ago, mostly on special teams last year. Forwarded out by Hartman and Dorch. Well, is a diamond in the rough at running back. Hartman, he might be a diamond, and he's not a diamond in the rough. He's a diamond that's shown as shiny. Cut. Five went out. Yeah, he's not in there. Here's Hartman. The blitz was picked up. He finds his man over the middle. Very block, averaging 36.2 per. And he's put one inside the five, one inside the ten. Here is Dorch from the fifth through the ten yard line. Back track from the 15. This kid can fly. Gets out of there. Got some room, but they get him across the 30. Got to get at least half of this. Hartman time fires. Got a man, and he's got the first down. Top of the screen. Yep. Hartman's looking that way. Now he's got to check off. Got the run. He's got it. Can he get it down? He did. Early mistakes, and you could see his comfort level grow throughout the course of the day. Quick slant right on the button to Dorch. Experience at Rutgers in his one year, so he jumped right in. Drive number two for Wake Forest. And this will be Dorch from his own end zone. Any type of space, you got to hold your breath on Greg Dorch. Look at the moves. And we saw it on their first drive. They've got to continue it, getting a good tempo. No pressure all the time in the world for Hartman, and it's going to be a long day for the Tigers' secondary. Here, Towson wanted to do was stack the box. Taking a guy out of the box gives him room to throw or pass. Fade pattern looking for Dorch, and he makes a one-handed grab. Touchdown! Play fake holds the backer. They come at him. You've got man coverage. Not a lot Finner could do. He was beaten from the moment, but a great route. Watch this. Plenty of space to the field side of the ball to get inside and make a play. The sophomore from the local kid also wanted to play well from high point. Quick screen the door, zigzagging his way. Tight rope anticipate using him on some more of the blitz packages moving forward. Dorch will give it a shot. Somebody lost the lid. Penalty flag flies. Dorch to midfield. Dorch down the sideline, but there are three penalty flags back around midfield. I'm going to watch Dorch. You tell me who's getting loose to have it. You know, you got to put your helmet on. Block there, and then watch this. He gets a great block right at the bottom of the screen there, and then he's tight rope the sideline. Good job blocking by the return team. Greg Dort, 70 yards to the house. Getting after the quarterback. Punting from the end zone is Toomey. Line drive, returnable kick. Dorch surveys at the 40. Up past midfield. Dorch to the 35. Beats the punter. Cuts at the 20. Dorch looking for number two. The magician has done it again. It'll be a blur. Deep punt. Steady, steady, steady. And no one. One person maybe lays a hand on Dorch. That's just speed, athleticism, and some God. Sam Hartman, he's had some keepers, some option type plays on plays like this. Not this time. He's throwing it, and he's got his man. Complete first down. Dorch not going out of bounds. Cut it inside. Hurricane Florence is starting to hit, and we understand the winds have really started to batter the coast here in North Carolina. Look for Dorch here. It's going to be tough throwing that receiver down because that's a big dude. Harmon on his back foot has Dorch in space. And he ducks down after he got all he could to the third. And now Hartman looking to throw the freshman from Charlotte down the middle. It's Dorch and he's gone. Touchdown, Wake Forest. We talk about Sam Hartman, his decision making, and we talked about in the open, understanding Greg Dorch is the big play guy. Dorch back at his own 32. Back pedals to his 22. Spins around. This is where he's really dangerous. Ran into his own guy and then changes direction. To make plays week in and week out. To the outside, Dorch. Acrobatic grab 
at the Rice 49. He's the first down, and you alluded to it. Against Boston College, you add up the special teams plays and the offense. He was out there. When you hurry up as a defender, linebacker, you don't know what to key in, so you get caught up, and you, you have a tendency to hold receivers. Greg Dorch finds the end zone for the second time in the opening quarter. Touchdown for the Demon Deacons. Tar coming into this game, targeted nine times, and he just did a simple out route. Houston Robert, he already knew it was coming before the ball was even snapped. There's a completion. Dorch has the first down. His eighth catch of the half into Owls territory and a new set of downs. Now what they're just doing is playing simple back young, even though they've registered a lot of freshmen that come in. So Bill having this a game experience is huge. On third down, Hartman finds Dorch and he's gone again. They come out in a bunch formation. And this formation is used against teams who like they like to play man to man. When they came out in this, yeah, all time Miami greats. Sure. Quickly, Dorch's tenth catch of the day, and he might run for a while. Look out, Greg Dorch. Good blocking downfield. Rice comes with the blitz, and you have to give a lot of credit to Jerry Mack, the offensive coordinator, because he felt in the Owls' defense having some issues that you're seeing. There's the fourth touchdown for Greg Dorch. It's all riled up at the officials right now. Huckman in trouble. Chased by Wilkins. He'll chuck it downfield and Dorch. Hard for Wake Forest. Still without any rush yards today. And now in a 21-point hole. So they're going to go to Greg Dorch. Make clean tackles. Better job. That's a holdup right there. And this is a returnable play. The boomer to Dorch, trying to get to the outside. Does get the near sideline, and the cutback out across midfield will... Where's Waldo? <laughs> Find him every play. Third and six, Newman to Dorch. Yards last year against the Cardinals, remember? First play from scrimmage last year was a 45-yard pass, and here's a shot to Dorch. One-handed catch, he hauls it in! Spectacular from wow. Greg Dorch. This kid is special here going down the field. Double coverage right here. He reaches out there with one hand. Responsibility is watch the running back. Third and three. Hartman rifles to Dorch. In open space, we know he's dangerous. Wow. To the 28-yard line. He is so fun to watch. Middle open, and we're seeing that right now. Gain of 12, the stop for Rajay Byrne. Now Hartman to throw. Pump fakes to Dorch. Great adjustment. Caught at the 23. You just can't stop this kid. And he's he doesn't seem that way. No. You have no answer for Dorch. That's and a little a delay. A bad play, just don't hurt us, and that's all you're asking from your freshman quarterback. Sometimes, great cutback by Greg Dortz, he's special. He is special, very close to what would be the 21st first down of the day for Wake <laughs> down because it's a fourth and seven now instead of a fourth and five. Can Hartman do it again? There's Torch, first down inside the 15. Torch was really covered at first, but he saw the quarterback take off, and look at him. He finds a seam to get over. He's got his offense on the field. Yeah, and, and right away, right away. Fourth down, a quick snap. Hartman wants to throw. Here's Dorch caught. First down, Greg Dorch inside the 10, and tiptoes to a first and goal at the 5. Andre Sisco, who's got four picks to lead the orange, was the guy that got picked on. Well, he got picked on. He just, he fell coming out of the break. A nice little cut by Moore. Hartman needs to come back out and hit some of these targets if they're going to continue to run free. Kyle Fricker into the win. Dorch plays it at the 46. Here's Greg Dorch. 25-20, 17-yard line. Third and about medium for Wake Forest. <laughs> Hartman, the throw, and Dorch the catch. Big third down, trying mm -hmm. to get something going. Quick throw, Walford, oh, reaching out and pulling it in is Dorch. 
What a grab by Dorch. Well, finally healthy and, and paying off. There's a look at Dorch on the conversion. How about the catch, the back tip of the football? School here in Winston-Salem, Christian Beal Smith has come in. And they get it to Dorch in traffic, a one-hand catch. And he'll pick up about 10 on the play. Sensational catch by Dorch. My goodness, the guy has just blown it up here in the second half. Cordy goes after it, tries to make a play. Look at Dorch going up and getting it and then outrunning Frederick to the corner. Here's his seventh catch of the day. Can't lose your turn, can you? No, you got to hold serve. Quick throw, Dorch the catch. Greg Dorch reaches. Touchdown. be a big time player it shows you now why when, when he woke up from his surgery last year when he was injured his first question was can i still play and they said not anymore this year and it just crushed him. he's going down he's in the presence of mind to put that hand down he's tripped up a little bit stretch and you got to be thinking touchdown here that's what i would think third and two newman in the pocket over the top he's got his man dorch touchdown and they're changing it up on this snap so clock lines, Wake Forest, one thing is, they are used to going fast. That's a normal tempo for their offense. What a delivery to Dorch for 14th ranked team in the country. Trying to come from behind, some pressure picked up. Newman throws, and it is caught by Dorch. Dorch fighting, and he gets out of bounds. And they got very close to that field goal line. It is a first down, Wake Forest. Well, Dorch just does such a good job working the route. You see the little release and then stem the, the defender up the field in order to gain some separate. Quite as fast as this offense has gone earlier in the year because of all the injuries they want to rest those defenders. Downfield, Dorch in the clear for the catch. Wait for that end to collapse. Here's Dorch. Wanted to throw and now will try and create on his own. Inside the 20. How about that? And that one by Feimster. Guy's going and making it happen. Game of the ropes. Dorch the catch inside the five. Touchdown, Lake Forest. 90 of freshman. Jamie Newman, on the other hand, 6'4", 230. Able to stand in there strong. He's not a bad runner. He's just more of a thrower. He'll cut it loose here. Dorch makes the catch. First down, Lake Forest to the blue level 36. 14 yards. That was a rope right there, Bates. Yeah. And pardon the pun, and then Dorch, Dorch will get you turned. I mean, that's that's tough one-on-one -on -one coverage right there. But Duke needs to weigh muscle his way on third and nine. Good throw here. Newman going to take the shot. Dorch the intended. Caught it. Nice catch of the day for Greg Dorch. I think that might have been it. Was that the first guy? Was Surratt maybe the first option? Dial back to Dorch.